it's nearly Christmas, it's the 1st of December and that means, actually very sadly, saying goodbye to the Mila S311, the Espirit, the effortless vacuum cleaner on by the rug which has only actually gone down today to film a few videos, we'll be having it up in a minute, on both the rug and on the hard floor. This machine is lovely let's see how it's done see if anything's gone wrong because i've not opened the bag door the bag could have popped off weeks ago for all we know i'll tell you what i had to repair on it and then show you what we're going to use for this month let's have a look Yes, hello, my vacuum clear chums. How are you today? Yeah, I think this cements in my mind that the S3 mid to late 90s era of Mila's is my favourite. It's a good size, comes with lovely tools, assuming you get a forehead that has these locks in place. If your forehead really flips around, it's broken. This isn't, this is lovely, perfect size. As you can see, that's all I've ever really needed to use it on the entire month. Barely 600-ish watts of power, ample airflow. Let's dissect the machine. Floor head, very nice, love this style. Obviously, I have the older version from the S200 that came before this in our box of stuff. So this one is the one that goes with this machine from having a few other S3s. The hose, oh, ever such a nice hose this is. Nice double elbow joint. I've sold entire machines based off of this hose being quite good. This one's not too bad, little bit worn, but yeah, it's okay. What's not been okay is this non dealer wand that I grabbed 10 minutes before filming this at the beginning of November. The problem is it doesn't lock and it's not the best fitment I to see here. You end up with the whole thing sort of twisting on you. Have rectified that this morning. I went into the loft and did find the wand that came with this machine. Obviously it, it has its, there we go, it has its little locking square and its proper mirror thing. The only problem is I remember now it's got a hole in one of the you know clicks that hold it on. It's not quite airtight so that's a bit of a shame but equally we'll fit it back into place yeah the whole one's not very good either really it uh, yeah, might be all right and i don't know if i've got anything better we'll have to have a look by the way it's not going to twist around anymore and that's the one that it should have had oh that's a lovely design the tools right there see this is how i always like the tools on the keyboard, it isn't like, you know, the hoovers where you have to lift the entire thing up to get to the tools. Get your tool out, use it, put it back on the dusting brush. Still pretty clean, everything's pretty clean really, you know, as these machines do. If you use nice, genuine Miele bags, you'll see that, yeah, even after a month of use, you can see the dirt around the inside of there, but everything else, is absolutely spotless. We may as well take out this bag now because I'm not going to sell it with it. Not that full, really. I haven't used. <laughs> I haven't got that much dirt. I haven't used it exclusively, but still, we'll call that done. That can do its thing, and it is just ready look for new bags. That's all it needs. It may not even need. Ah, uh, it does need a new filter. Cool. Look at that. Look, a month of carbon dust. Problem with these, it's the same with Electroluxes. They're just so carbony. Pop that back in there, yeah. We'll, we'll give it a new filter when we give it some new bags. There we go. Oh, and of course that goes down like so. So yes, this has been my Mila and really, yeah, look again, that's not terribly lovely, is it? It's not, it's, it's a good machine. It's a lovely machine, love the color. But, you know, it's not a mean toner job, which is nice, really. Nice that it's not completely lovely. So, yes, this has been my mid-90s premium German cylinder experience of a month. 
Time to move on from December and we're certainly staying with German. We're certainly staying with premium. We might be moving a little bit on the old form factor. Let me show you what I've decided that we're going to use. Come on, Peter. Bye bye. Bye bye. I had a knock at my door the other day. It was a nice man selling a vacuum cleaner. And yeah, I have now paid just $79.99 a month for the rest of my life. And I bought us a Volvo. Yes, we are staying German, we are staying premium, and I suppose in a way we're staying as a cylinder because just with you know, a few pushes of the button, three, four, five, six, seven pushes of the button, you know, we have ourselves a cylinder, I suppose. Yep, I think we should give the controversial Vorwerk a go. The Vorwerk that nobody seems to think is their favourite because they're so fragile. The motors burn themselves out. They just don't last as well as the 120 series that came before them. Bless them. But yeah, we have this one. Why aren't you going in? Ah, the thing's not clicking into place. Ah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, premium German cylinder. Yeah, I thought we'd give it a go. So, obviously we have this humongous bag of tools and there's another reason that I want to do this in a couple of days. We will have another Volvo video because I've been given another load of stuff which I think is more the colour coordinated version of it. Some of my tools are there we go, there we go. But some of the tools are the same shade of green as the machine. And we have more fun tools, so we'll do that on Saturday. We'll just get this out and use it for today and go from there. So the first thing that we'll need to do, I think, is treat ourselves to a nice new bag because the bag that's in here would have been in here for who knows how long. I'm sure we've done a few Cobasan demonstrations with it, with this bag in, and it's not going to do it any good at all. So we'll have it out. There we go, look. Nice, genuine Vorwerk bag. And again, yeah, it's it's got some dirt in it. You'll never see. But it will smell a little bit musty and damp. We also have this filter here, which I think is going to be okay. Yeah, it'll be all right. Let's have a look in the bag of tricks, which we have here. Again, lots of stuff to play with for the month. Go for the bags, first of all, that I know are in here. We can have a nice new bag for a nice new month. That's the wrong way round. There we go. Beautiful. And yeah, I mean, we'll start off on the rug, but I actually want to get the rug up because I want to use it in hard floor mode. And the problem with this machine is that I've got several heads. We have an EB350, which is very nice. We have the EB351, which is my preference because it has the brushes on the front that come down and stop the brush roll. So we have our choice of head. I don't think we have a third one anymore. I'm pretty sure I've managed to get rid of that one. So that's cool. Yeah, there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff. Let's check it still runs and go from there. I think that's okay. still does the same things it always used to do. Let's get the rug out of the way and actually play with the tool that I've, I've been looking forward to playing with the most. 
And just like that, we have hard floor again. And just like that, we can play with this, which I don't know what the name is for it yet. I'll be honest, we should probably research that. But yeah, we can obviously change. I forget you can do it from the top. There we go, look. Yeah, good. Turn hard floor work into a lovely hard floor cleaner, which, yeah. I quite like the idea of this. We'll put it on second two. Oh, see this is how ball works really what you can use it, I do. Nice hard floor cleaner. Goes right up to the edges. Oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes. yes. I can definitely hit this from using this. This is overkill mode now. Yeah. That's an even. You know, I won't use it a lot for the rugs. I consider myself using the pneumatic quick for, well, now that rug and the little one in the hallway, and just have the acres of hard floor for this beautiful tool. Yeah, it has a spring in it, so as soon as you go up against something, it just and does it like that, very nice. So we wanted to play with this for ages. I mean, I guess we, we, we best check what other tools we have as well. In fact, I know exactly how we can do it because here I have the manual for, admittedly, a VK136, not a VK135, but this is a sort of hybrid of the two anyway. And this goes through all of the tools, which is, Quite handy indeed. So we could, yeah, there you go, look, generation after with that star head, but everything else is going to be the same. Is he going to tell us what the hard floor head is? Uh, have we gone past it? Oh, there you go, the HD35. So yeah, we have the HD35 fitted. And yeah, we, we, we should have everything else, really. I'm sure we did. Let's get it out into a big pile. There we go, we have our Cobold, along with the floor cleaning accessories. I don't have any of that yet. I'm hoping that's what we can sort out on Saturday's video. But yeah, we have the HD35 fitted. Had to pretend that that's an EB360 like it is on here. But again, the models are identical. Then, yeah, we have the Polster Boy. PB240, different shade of green there. Adjustable, see, I, I've never known the actual name for this. Adjustable soft nozzle, SD13. Flat surface nozzle, FD13. Textile attachment, TD13. Telescopic tube. TR13 man multi adjustable vario nozzle set. That is what they seem to be calling the crevice tool, radiator brush, and the drill thing that it has. That's interesting. Oh, yes, and the suction hose SG, SGS131. Yeah, we're getting there. Obviously, I have the pulley locks. So that's there, I didn't get that down, we're not going to be using that. Look, we have the bags, filter bags, we don't have any Davidia. There's no filter fitted to this machine at all anyway, because I think that they are a bit iffy, especially on this one. And yeah, we have basically almost a full complete set, which is very cool indeed. I mean, we can play with it further. Oh. If we come off of here, We'll move the handle like that, although we'll leave the cable hooked up because it's much easier. Yeah, this is now, you know, we can we can play it having a single back. Ah! Smash. We'll click that in there. Look. Then we can fit our PB. Oh, I just need something for us to back you. Like so, look, isn't isn't this Lovely and easy when you just want to do something on here. And yeah, in theory. Oh. Oh, not gonna run. Uh -oh. I forgot folks. 
Right, this is the reason. Dang it. We have two complete kinds of tools, isn't it? The only electric hose I've got is this one. Probably why it doesn't spin. There we go. We're close to buying. Smells a burning motor, how fantastic. But it still spins, and that's the main thing. Oh my goodness, all this stuff. At least you got a handy compact bag to fit it all in. Ah, so there we go. This is it assembled. How I'm probably going to use it. I'll give the bag its due as much as it is quite large. Oh yeah, we've got both the other heads in there, two hoses. Crikey lots of stuff so i'm going to do what every work owner probably did and put this over here and maybe never look at it again and go i could do the walls and the ceiling in this mode this is going to be lovely the setting one just bit around all the care in the world all the beautiful But I've also done this because I've wanted to use this since we first got it and then first got it fully done. I've also got a load of other stuff for it that Mr. Dave gave us. So stay tuned on Saturday when you'll see this again and we're going to go through and see what other stuff we have, see what completes our set and see if we can get a colour matching Vorwerk machine. The camera's lying a little bit here. This is a sort of a lighter coloured green. I'll see if the colour correction in Resolve can tweak that a little bit. So yeah, it'd be nice to get a matching set of tools at least. I don't care what colour they are as long as they match. So yeah, until next time, me and my luggage will see you soon. Bye bye.